Africa, we must wake up. The problem is not lack of mineral resources. The problem is not only leadership. Leadership is there. But more than leadership, we are victims of our thinking. Africa, we must wake up the problem is not lack of mineral resources the problem is not only leadership leadership is there but more than leadership we are victims of our thinking the many years of servitude has done something to us the color of your skin does not have an effect on your mind your background and where you come from does not have an effect on your mind there are no second class citizens on earth except you make for yourself he that cometh from above the moment you receive jesus you are born into a superior class of living this is a fact please make up your mind that you will not be small again make up your mind that you will not be small that what my father did not give me my children will eat it where i could not go you can't transfer the same mediocrity to your children it's okay that okay those who came before you could not go that far don't keep giving flimsy excuses why life is passing you and it does not come by hustling hustling is a demonic strategy what circumspectly as wives hustling is why people don't give god the glory the Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it, but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning, to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gives his beloved sleep. We have systems of advantage in this kingdom. We are not left alone. The favor of God is there. The capacity to restore is there. The gift of man, there. The ministry of the Holy Spirit showing you what to do part time. Shout, I cannot fail. Please say it, I cannot fail. I reject failure. Now, if you confess like that and don't contend for transformation, you will soon be angry with what you are saying because it will remain empty talk for a very long time. There are people who have done it for many years. Oh, I will not fail, yet they keep going down confession is powerful but it's not the only key to the success equation content for transformation more than the clothes you buy invest in your mind buy materials superior materials technology has made it very easy for transformation with data of next to nothing you can settle down and watch videos and materials that that are consistent with scripture that edify you get all my teachings on them on mindsets they are free get them go online search for them they are free let the holy spirit do a walk you have to understand how the mind thinks i'm sorry to say it but secular education school does not teach people how to think no achievement is a science there are exact equations that produce achievement. Results, you must sustain the ability to replenish. And here's where it lies. So you don't fear your success. I submit to you in the name of Jesus Christ that the results that we see and we rejoice with, it is ultimately God's doing, but he's given keys. There is no fear in these results because it will remain so. It did not come by magic. It did not come by mistake. It can be replicated anywhere in the world. And it is true. You only fear when your result came by luck. When it comes by knowledge, knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom, you can find rest. Listen, like Abraham, it says, from where thou art, lift up your eyes. I'm speaking to someone by the spirit, from where you are not where you want to be from where you are you can make up your mind dr miles monroe 
my eternally revered mentor changed my life radically was one of the first people the Lord began to use to change my belief system I love him even in death bless his soul I heard his story how that he grew up in a family of how many people and they would look from their room and they could see the stars that was the level of the poverty and he made up his mind that things would not be this way but empty talk does not lead to results he began to contend for transformation by the truth more than clothes by the truth are we together philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 Verse 8, Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, finally, koinonia, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, please look up, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things i never go for a meeting wondering will the power of god move will the sick be healed no 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 i have a mentality i never go alone i never go alone though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death thou art with me divine presence is a secret i know that his power his divine power i never come for a meeting wondering will people be blessed we're talking the power of the Holy Ghost here and the Lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following there will never be a week where there is no testimony here it's impossible God must bear witness technology has made it very easy for transformation with data of next to nothing you can settle down and watch videos and materials that that are consistent with scripture that edify you get all my teachings on them on mindsets they are free get them go online search for them they are free let the holy spirit do a walk you have to understand how the mind thinks i'm sorry to say it but secular education school does not teach people how to think no achievement is a science there are exact equations that produce achievement results you must sustain the ability to replenish and here's where it lies so you don't fear your success i submit to you in the name of jesus christ that the results that we see and we rejoice with it is ultimately god's doing but he's given keys there is no fear in this result because it will remain so it did not come by magic it did not come by mistake it can be replicated anywhere in the world and it is true you only fear when your result came by luck when it comes by knowledge knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom you can find rest listen like abraham he says from where thou art lift up your eyes i'm speaking to someone by the spirit from where you are not where you want to be from where you are you can make up your mind dr miles munro my eternally revered mentor changed my life radically was one of the first people the lord began to use to change my belief system i love him even in death bless his soul i heard his story how that he grew up in a family of how many people and they would look from their room and they could see the stars that was the level of the poverty and he made up his mind that things would not be this way but empty talk does not lead to results he began to contend for transformation by the truth more than clothes by the truth are we together philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 verse 8 Philippians 4 verse 8 finally brethren finally koinonia whatsoever things are honest 
whatsoever things are just please look up whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things i never go for a meeting wondering will the power of god move will the sick be healed no 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 i have a mentality i never go alone i never go alone though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death thou art with me divine presence is a secret i know that his power his divine power i never come for a meeting wondering will people be blessed we're talking the power of the holy ghost here and the lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following there will never be a week where there is no testimony here it's impossible god must bear witness